वेलकम बैक सो इन द प्रीवियस स्टेप प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी आइडेंटिफाइड द एग्जिट विच वी आर गोइंग टू यूज फॉर द स्क्रीन इनहांसमेंट ऑफ परचेस ऑर्डर सो दिस इज द एग्जिट नेम आई एम गोइंग टू यूज नाउ आई विल गो टू सी मॉट टू क्रिएट वन प्रोजेक्ट सो वी हैव टू गो टू सी मॉट आई विल गिव हियर यू कैन गिव एनी प्रोजेक्ट नेम क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट सो जेट के पीओ वन आई एम गिविंग हियर okay like project for po enhancement okay project for po enhancement only i am giving here save then after this we have to go to enhancement assignment and the exit name which we have found that we have to enter here custom fields in the purchase order click on save and click on components now here we can see see those are not activated like screen exit is not activated function exit not activated but maybe some other consultant have added some field in this header table in which i want to add my own custom field okay so screen will design here code will write here in the function module the first step you have to double click on this now here you can see this ci underscore ekkodb already exists maybe some other consultant has already created this so in your system you will just get a pop up do you want to create this object click on yes and now this is the case in your system all uh, also then simply go to ac11 enter the ci underscore ekkodb here what i am going to do i am adding two field at the po header and the ekko is a po header table okay and ekko you will find that structure this is the sap standard include structure by default you will find this now you can see some other consultant already added two fields so i am going to add my fields in the same structure okay so here i will add two field one is sales order vb ln underscore va and one more field i want as a remarks so one sales order field and one remarks field i am adding here after this just click on activate this will take in if you are working in demo system this may take around like 10 to 15 minutes of time okay so till that time what we can do just okay open a new session we'll just check whether the fields are added or not here you can see the fields are added but it's still inactive okay because activation is still in progress so we have to wait for some time for this okay in your actual like prototype system uh, actual company system this may take little like a small time but in demo system it is it takes more time actually 10 to 15 minutes definitely it will take so i will just stop the recording till that time so still the process going on so till that time what we'll do we'll just try so the first we have to add the fields here now as i explained this is the main program okay this is the service screen program and this is service screen name so we have to create our service screen here and the field we have added here that we can check in one more structure is there the structure name is ekko_ci see we have added the field here ci_ekkodb in one of my project i used the same screen field it works but in this demo system it was giving some error okay so you try with this structure to add a screen field okay ekk_ci you can see two fields our new fields are added here it is active so what we'll do till that time like this will get activated i will just go here in our c mod zkpo1 i will double click on this sub screen 101 dream pro 101 for program is being created yes the screen name like custom fields on po header 
Okay. Click on save. Click on save. No need to add any flow logic as of now. The important thing here, select this radio button sub screen. This is very important. Okay, for sub screen, not necessary. You should add the PF status title and all this thing. The main screen, PAI, PBO will work. Uh, sorry, title bar and all this work. Now go to the layout. The layout, now we have to add the custom field on this screen. Click on this dictionary field. Enter here ekk underscore ci. As I explained, in one system, I try with the same include ci underscore ekk or db, it works. But in this demo, it was giving error. So I'm going ahead with this structure, ekk underscore ci. Get from dictionary. Select two fields on the screen. Okay. Sales order name, sales document number, and the remarks. From dictionary, it will select. Okay. So we have added the field from the screen. From the ekk underscore ci. Fine. I'll just select here, enter, maintaining original language. Close this screen pop-up. The screen is activated now. I'm going back here. So, first step is done. Added field here. Second step, you added the field on this sub-screen. Now we have to write the logic for the PBO and the PAI. Okay, let me check again whether it is, okay, it is still in process. Fine. So now, for the screen, we know we have PBO and PAI. What is PBO? Process before output. Any activity you want to perform, okay, before your data get displayed on the screen, that you have to write in this 006 PBO. If you double-click here, read the attributes description. Export data to customer service screen. This PBO. So before screen display, this will get activated. And here you can see importing, we have this EKKO structure. But double click here, you can see that include here and our new fields. So this means that we'll get the data from database in this I EKKO structure. And our screen field is EKKO underscore CI. So we have to pass data from this field to our screen field. Now we have to check for the PAI. For that, we required the EKKO structure either in the export or in the changing. So if I double click on 007, here we see there is no changing or no exporting. So we cannot use this, even though this is PAI. You may use this for some validations because you will get the data in the importing structure, right? You will get the data in the importing structure. For the validations, you can use and for tables but not for the header PBO, I guess, for my requirement. Now I will go to 008. Like this, you have to check the function model. So here we can see this is the import data. Means we'll get the data from a screen to this uh, function model. And here we have to, in the changing, we can see E underscore CI underscore EKKO. And see the structure. C, uh, sorry, EKKO underscore CI. The same screen field. Okay, so we have to pass data from this screen field to this changing. So this I will use for the PI concept. Okay, so now it is activated completely. So let's go to PBO now. First, implement the function model. Function exits exit underscore SAP MM zero six E underscore zero zero six. Double click here. Sorry, not here, not here. Double click on this program. Do you want to create the program? Yes, save in the TR. Okay, sorry, I forgot the name. Where, yeah, I underscore EKKO. Double click again. So now I want this to be specific only for my user ID. So I will write here if psi 
u name equal to k zephyr. I want this should be work only for my user ID. And if I will add a breakpoint here, this will trigger on my ID. Now this is PBO. We have to assign the field, assign the value to screen field. What is my screen field? EKKO underscore CI ZVBELN. EKKO underscore CI. Second field, Z remarks. Two fields I have added, right? Now what is the importing of this function model importing header structure? I underscore EKKO. I underscore EKKO Z V B E L N. Okay. And second is I underscore EKKO Z remarks. Save. Save. Check. I EKKO. Okay. So we spelling mistakes. Save, check, and activate it. So, till now I have written the logic only for the PBO. Now, before doing further PA I coding, I will just check, I will just activate this project and we will see whether the fields are appearing on the screen or not. Okay, so PBO logic we have done. So, till now the project is not activated. We are done with step number one, step two, and the first part of step three. Okay, I can't see here the activate option. I'll just go back and I will activate this. Now, if I go inside, if I click on components, you can see here green icon. So once the project is activated, now I will go to ME22N, ME22N. I'm opening existing purchase order. And because I said first time this will take time, Whenever you are activating any project, see on this customer data here you can see sales document and remarks. So custom fields are appearing here as of now. Okay, so let me check why the breakpoint is not triggered actually because I have set a hard code breakpoint right with my ID. If psi union equal to k zephyr and uh, k zephyr, let me try my email ID. It is same actually. Is the for only ID I'm using. I think this is capital. Let me check. Project is already activated, so no issue in that. So I will just enter ME22N. See now you can see the debugger is trigger. Okay, because I entered a small letter. So now what I will do, I will just pass some dummy values to this. Just to check if you assign any value, it, whether it is appearing or not on the screen. Okay. Test. F5, F5. I press F8. See, I, uh, in first, I shown this custom field level. Actually, this will appear in the customer data tab. Okay, so we can see the two fields appear on the screen. Now, even if I'm clicking on save button, this will not work. The values will dis disappear because we have not written the logic for the PAI, right? So now what we have to do, we have to write the logic for the PAI. So PBO, what we have done, we have passed the data from this EKK structure to the screen field EKK underscore CI. Now for the PAI, we have to do the reverse logic. So as I explained, I'm going to use this exit. Okay, so till now in this lecture, we have done step number one, step two, and still partial step number three, and we have entered the value on the screen. Now we will implement this PAI in the next lecture. Thank you.